I love our company, and I love you guys. I just, uh, we're going to change the world, dang it. I know, we're going to do it. The beauty of our company is we have a product that works that you can believe in. And you've got people that you can believe in. We're going to do the right things. Now, we're a young company still. Um, let me just give you a little bit of perspective. Last year, you know, we had a very good year. We had an amazing beginning to the company. Already this year, we are on track to double what we did last year. Can you believe that? Double it. But you know what? I'm not happy. Doubling is not good enough. It's just not. We have too many people out there who we can help, too many people who we think we can make a difference for. Right now, in our history, we have had about 5,000 people who have joined engaged. Only 5,000 people. How many people live in America? 330 million people just in America. Now let's take Mexico. Right? So we have a lot of people that we can touch. We're just, this is our first meeting in California. Can you, does everybody see the size of this room? Okay. Right now we have about 200, 150, 200 people here today. We, we rented a room of this size. Do you know why? The next time we come, I want all of you here to be able to visualize what's going to happen next time, right? Right? Next time, we are going to fill this room. I am willing to come, the company is willing to come next week if you will fill this room. Next month if you will fill this room. The month after, okay? That is your job. Those of you who have chosen to become members of Engage, your job is the next time we come that this room is filled. Now let's talk about today. I want to talk about why Engage. I shared with you my story. I gave you a little bit of perspective of why for Engage. Um, where's the clicker here? So. You're going to learn a lot about us. You're going to learn a lot about the company. You're going to learn about our culture and who we are. Um, we've created, we talk about service. I'll talk more about that. We've created the Jean Valjean Foundation. And Victor Hugo is the author of Les Mis. How many of you here know about Les Mis? How many of you seen the movie or the book or the play? Okay, everybody who's going to become an engaged member will ultimately know Les Mis and, and Jean Valjean. Jean Valjean, without saying too much, was a man who, when presented with challenges, didn't do what was best for him. He did the right thing, right? That's who we are. We're going to do the right thing. So, there is nothing like a dream to create the future. What's your dream? What is your dream? Because the dream that you have is what your future will be. Now, many of us have dreams that don't come to fruition, and there's many reasons for that. Oftentimes, the reason that your dream doesn't come true is because someone lied to you, right? And you pursued a dream because of a lie. Unfortunately, the industry that we're in, in network marketing, that is not unusual behavior. What I can promise you is that will not be our behavior. Okay? We're going to be different. And so what I challenge each one of you today to say is, what is your dream? And then it is our job to work together to make that dream our future. Right now, Engage has approximately 5,000 people who have joined. What is your dream? Think of your own individual dream. Of Engage's future, what piece of that will be yours? I can tell you that my dream is that Engage, within the next two years, has at least 500,000 members. Okay, that's a hundred times what we have today in two years. Now, is that dream going to be a reality or is it just a fantasy? You know what? I don't know. But what I do know is that if I wake up every day with that dream, and if every day I do something to move our company towards that dream. It's a possibility. 
It's a possibility. But do you know what? It's a possibility only if you and I and us work together. It's only that possibility. Now I will tell you, um, I won't say where, we were invited to a meeting recently, and we went up there with expectations of having 150 people there. Jason and I walk into the room, and there was 30 people there. Now, what does that do to me? What do I feel at that moment? I'll tell you what I feel. I feel hope and optimism. And I'll tell you why. Because in that meeting, we gave them everything that those 30 people came for. And they gave us everything that we had hoped for. And when I have, or we have, 30 people in a room with a dream and a vision, it's going forward. Yes. Right? Yes. Now today we have a wonderful group that's much larger than that, and I thank all of you for being here. But with us, I believe in what's called the multiplier effect. Okay? And that is, is that one plus one does not equal two. Right? I believe that one plus one plus one plus one plus all of you ones can equal 500,000. That's what I believe. I believe that. And you know, I don't believe that just because I'm a dreamer. I believe that because I've done it before. I've had the good fortune to experience amazing success. And I know how hard it is to achieve it. And so, every one of you in this room, all I ask you to do is to have a dream. And you define your own dream. Maybe it's to have three customers. Maybe it's to have 5,000 customers. It doesn't matter to me. You're just as important to me if your dream is three or if your dream is 5,000. And we will give you who want three as much effort and help as those who have a dream of 5,000. We will give you what you need. We will support you in what you need to accomplish your dream. Okay? That's what we are here to do. The only thing I'm going to say is remember, we're a young company. Forgive us for our mistakes. Forgive us. And we'll forgive you for your mistakes. Because you know what? Our hearts and our intentions are right. So we were told there would be a meeting of 150 people. There was 30. I love those people. I appreciate those people. We give them everything we have. We give you everything we have. All I need is for you to tell us where we can do better, and we will. I need you to tell us where we can do better, and we will. Okay? And we will become a company that changes your life, gives you a platform to change your own life, and changes other people's lives. Now let's talk about why engage. Let's get a little bit business. Are you guys going to get a little business rational here? I mean, emotions are great, right? But let's get a little business rational. Why engage? So David Nanaka decided to invest a lot of money to get this company off the ground. David Nanaka and Jason Golly decided to make this company happen. David Nanaka and Jason Golly decided to move forward with an idea that was kind of silly. I mean, give me a break. I'm a, I'm a fairly smart guy, but supplements, network marketing, no customers, no distributors, that's kind of crazy, isn't it? It is, it's honestly, it's crazy. But that's what makes the world happen is crazy people. Really, people who have a dream, people who want to take a food, step forward. I love you. I love entrepreneurs. I have been, I've lived in China. I've lived in Germany. I've been all over the world. And no matter where I go, the thing that I just, I'm so amazed with our country is the people of America, our spirit, our entrepreneurial spirit. You know, everybody talks about the demise of America. Baloney. Baloney. I don't believe it. America is the most resilient, innovative, creative, adaptive, juggernaut powerhouse in the world. And it's because of the people. It's because of the culture. It's because of entrepreneurs like you. And that's why we started the case. That's why I said, you know what? I think it's, it's a chance. I think we have a chance. Number one, we have the right product. Think of this. People that Noah gave you a whole bunch of information on the science. But you know, when you sit down with someone and try to convince them and that MF is going to keep going, is that how it really happens? Hey, let me give you a whole bunch of science. It's not the real world, it's not how these people work. Now, 
for rational business minds, we're trying to be rational, that's where we go. And that look at all the science. And what I would say is it's legitimate, it's, it's real. It's real. But here's the fact of the matter. If you really want to sell engage, the first question I would ask someone is, are you MMF deficient? <laughs> They're like, what's that? <laughs> right? Oh, well, it's a simple answer. Are you taking a product that was made for our soldiers to help them be more healthy or not? And you know what the answer is, is you're not going to meet anybody that's going to say yes, because guess what? You're the first fisherman in the fishing pond, right? You're the only ones with the fishing pole because nobody else knows about this company yet. I mean, you picked the right time for sure. So they're going to know, like, well, I've been taking this product that was made for the military and it's changed my life. I think you need to try it because I think it'll change your life. What, how much harder is it to sell, right? Isn't that really it? Because all they have to do is just, if they believe in you and trust in you, they'll try it. And then you trust in the product, right? Now, what we know from the studies is this, is 70% of the soldiers in that study responded very favorably to MMF. Very favorably. That still meant 30% did it. So the expectation that you have shouldn't be that 100% people are going to like change on this product. But I can tell you this from a business standpoint, give me a 70% hit rate. Oh, okay. You know, that's amazing. And then the change that you've individually experienced, it's it's amazing. Now the 30%, they're still experiencing benefit, they just may not be able to express it. Okay. But what I can tell you is you can go with confidence that you have a product that works. That's the most important thing. And then that product is going to change people's lives. And when people's lives are changed, guess what happens? They become customers and they become members. And you know what? The next thing is, is okay, now here's, here's something else for you. Is once someone understands the product, really your next job is to just to find is someone looking for an opportunity or not. Because here's the problem too many of us do, and that is I go to Jeff and I'm like, Jeff, try this product. Now everybody's going to want this product. So that should be a sell. Okay, done, sold, right? You want it. But I don't know if you're really looking to change your life. So really my job is to find out, Jeff, are you looking to change your life? Jeff, are you looking for a new income? Do you want to be more free? Do you want to be more your own man? Do you want to be an entrepreneur? If the answers are yes, I've got the perfect company for you. If the answer is no, I'm happy with my job, don't beat them up. Don't like keep harassing them. They'll see what your life changes and then they'll come to you and ask. So the hard sell isn't the sell. What it is is the easy sells is what you're looking for. So everybody's going to want MMF. Then your job is just to find out if someone looking for an opportunity. And if they are, you give it to them. It's called engage. Back to the product. You have the right product. Believe in the product. Trust in the product. Military, if it's good enough for a soldier, it's good enough for me. I accept that idea. The U.S. military spent over $13 million developing this product. Oh, here, let me tell you another fun fact. PMC, our partner, one of their investors, a big investor, is on the board of directors of one of the New York Stock Exchange companies that I've, I've funded and we helped take public. And how about that for an ironic or call it fortuitous connection? Because you know what? It took us two years to convince PMC that we were the right company and people to give a global, worldwide, exclusive to MMF. They don't just give that away. They don't just give that away. We committed, we committed millions to them. We have committed a minimum sales numbers to them, and they have committed us global, worldwide, exclusive to you. Okay. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Two years, Jason and I worked on that. That was not a gimme. Not a gimme at all. And by the way, we had to compete against some people, but we won. And I like to compete. I don't know about you, I'm a competitor. I like to compete. Win, and we won. <laughs> All right. The red market. That's the other thing is I'm looking at a product case, supplement, network marketing. It's kind of a, you know, but we made the bet. A market with hundreds of millions of people in the U.S. That's awesome. Everybody I talk to needs MMF. It's not like... A diet product where, hey Jeff, you're kind of overweight. You want to do a 90 day challenge? <laughs> right? Or, hey Dave, you're overweight. You want to do a 90 day challenge? You know, 
A weight loss product to me is not a product that I'd be interested in. And I'll tell you why, because after 90 days, what are they going to be buying? Now you got to convince them to buy something else. you got to do another sell. Do you know the beauty about MMF? You sell them once, right? Yeah. And now they're a customer for life. Yeah. You know the promise of network marketing of residual income? Do you know what the churn and burn is? Do you know what that is? The churn and burn in this industry is ridiculous. Like 90%. Come and go. It's like a revolving door. Ooh, 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 ooh. And so the problem for you, if you're committed to a company, is if you bring them in the door and they leave that door in 90 days, you gotta go find someone to replace them, right? And so that's the challenge. We have a product twice a day, every day, every month. They don't have to rethink. Now the other thing they taught me at Procter Gamble is value. It's an important proposition to the consumer. Our price point of $60, $65 for this product is right smack dab in that value proposition. Not everybody, but most people can afford it. And the benefit that they get from it is well worth the cost. So cost benefit works. Price point works. And here's what's beautiful about the price point is it works so we can pay you enough that it works for you. We pay out 45 to 50% of revenue to you. Remember how Jason talked about brokers and vendors, et cetera? We've cut, so you know, like a product like ours, if we sold it at GNC, GNC would take 50 to 60% of our sales, okay? So we put this product on the shelf, they would take over half of our revenue. I say, phooey on that. I'd rather give them nothing and give you 45 to 50% to go sell. Right? And we all know what Walmart does. They put crap on the shelf. You know? We wouldn't even put it in a Walmart because the standards are too low. Anyway, so the right market. Talk about people. I don't know what you think about me. Today's the first time I've met many. I know. I know. They know. <laughs> When I look in the mirror and you look in the mirror, really the only person in the world we know is ourselves and half the time we lie to ourselves, right? <laughs> right? Well, um, you're going to get to know me today, you get to know Jason and Noah and other members of our team. There's people here who've been involved for well over a year, they know us. Uh, I think as you get to know us, you'll like us more. The more you know us, the more you'll like us. Not only will you, will you like us, but I think we're pretty smart people. Um, with great educations, with track records of success, and you know what, just as importantly, I have a track record of failure. I don't know about you, you know my greatest lessons have come from the greatest pain. I learned more from pain than I do from joy, right? So at 50, I've had, a, I've had my ups and my downs, I've learned a lot, and I've, I, it's funny, I was talking to Arian, my wife, the other day about this, I said, you know what? Engage us, it's, it's going great. And I think it's because Jason and I and our team, we're bringing all of the skills, all of the tools we've developed over a lifetime to this one enterprise. And I think we're finally getting something really right. And she's like, Yeah, with all the, the mistakes you've made, you better start getting something right. <laughs> but um, so just the people. If you look at our resumes, you look at our experience, our backgrounds, you get to know us as people, we're the right people. Um, we're, the, we're the marrying kind. My dad used to say, when I was looking for a spouse, got married at 23, he said, when you're out there, don't look for the right one, look for the right kind, right? So I think as you're out there looking for your own lives and what businesses you want to be involved with, you know, there's the right one idea, but how about, I think we're the right kind. And not only are we the right kind, I think we're the marrying kind, meaning that I expect to see you here Next year, in five years, in ten years, this is a legacy company. You guys are, are, you, are, you, are you guys my people? Yeah. I talked about our compensation plan, the opportunity. Now, here's something else. I'm not a network marketer by trade, so I don't know how many of you have, you know, companies you've been in, etc. I haven't. I've never been in the field. I've never done what you do. So I have. I really try to listen to our field. And members, because we want to understand the dynamic of what you experience every day and what the work you have to do is every day. But one of the things I keep, I 
I keep getting bombarded with questions. Is your comp plan gonna pay? You know, can we get rich off your comp plan? Can we make a lot of money off your comp plan? You know, I'm a simple guy. And I look at other companies, binaries and quadrinaries and Zuka whatever. I mean, they got all these fancy terms and whatever else. To me, one plus one and that still equals two. It doesn't matter how you slice and dice it. I mean, if I have an apple and I cut it into pieces, I still have the pieces of the apple. It doesn't matter what I call it or how I say I chopped it up. So at the end of the day, there's a funnel. It's called your compensation plan. And what really matters is how much is going into the funnel, not how all the little bells and whistles they put on it. In fact, most of the bells and whistles they put on it are alive because you'll never see them. Most of the bells and whistles that are in a compensation plan that you're being sold or told on, it's a lie, you'll never see it. Like binaries, you know, you have to have a balanced leg, so they say if you do this, well, you never get it because the balance of leg is almost impossible. And so the thing I can tell you about our compensation plan and what Jason brought to it was there's no gotchas. There's no gotchas, you know what you're gonna get. You know, you know what you're going to get. What I can tell you is we're paying into that plan 45 to 50 percent of our revenue, and honestly, right now we're paying like 60 percent because between now and the end of April, we've got that 20 percent leadership bonus. We're putting a lot of money into your pockets if you're willing to work right now and help us get this business going. Because once again, I'm an investor, and so the way I, we think is the company has to be profitable, which it is. And then number two, we have to invest for our future. And our biggest investment, our most important investment is you. So we need to make sure that you're making money and you're winning. And okay, I'm gonna give you another, so those of you who are guests right now, um, want you to understand something. If you're gonna join our company, today really is the day to join, because I'll give you a couple reasons. Number one, anyone who joins a company today at this meeting, we're gonna give you a 10% discount on your product. On your purchase. So if you want to come in at a fast start of 500, it's 450. If you want to do 1,000, it's 900. You're going to get a, a discount. And we'll either do it as a discount on the charge or we'll give you a cash rebate right here, right now, today. What do you think about that? I think that's a good reason to join today. Number two is we want all of you to have a leg up. So between now and the end of, the, end of April, if you join in a fast start package, you can start higher up in the compensation plan, either the legacy one or two, and you can ask your, your upline who might be here or any of us who are here. If you join now, you get a discount today, and you start hiring the compensation plan. And that's going away as of April 30th, gone. You won't see that one again. That's something that we're offering now to help you get a leg up. Okay? So today really is the day to join our company. Compensation, so the right opportunity. Talk about values. Um, I don't know about you, but I'm a value-driven person. I am a value-driven person, and I hope you are too. How do I define values? We have an acronym that's called FISH. I'm a fisherman, I love the fish. Um, and so it's an acronym that works for me, and I hope it works for you, but F stands for freedom. Freedom from what? Freedom from bad health because we have a product that works, and freedom from a lack of wealth because we have an opportunity that works. So freedom is a value that we have. Number two is integrity. How do we define integrity? Integrity is defined as doing the right thing. Owning your mistakes and fixing your mistakes. Being forthright and honest with people. That's what integrity means. If there was one value that you were gonna to say to me, Dave, what is the most important value there? That would be it. Because I believe the world hungers for a company, for people who are willing to do the right thing. And I think in this industry and in this space that we've decided to play, it's something that can really set us apart and make a difference in people's lives. So integrity, I ask you to challenge me if you feel like we don't have integrity, challenge us on it so that if we don't, we can do better and we will do better. Integrity. Third is service. You heard um, Jamie Holly in our video talk about him, service. We started the Jean Valjean Foundation at our Grand Lodge. We gave away $39,000 to Special Olympics, um, some Wounded Warrior programs, success in education, and then we've now restructured, we have, we're now offering what's called the Jean Valjean Award, and that's to you. And so we've got some applications here and others, and that is the idea is we want to motivate and incentivize you to give back and to serve and to give. And so if you'll fill out a Jean Valjean application, we're going to be giving away $2,500 grants up to $25,000 to 
to people who have philanthropic goals and dreams and objectives that we can help give you a little bit of a boost up in helping and serving others. So we have a foundation and a board that you can make application to. We were going to do um, some May awards. We've now pushed that to September because we want more applications. So we're going to be doing on September 26th, put this on your calendar, in Provo, Utah, we are going to have a massive engage party event training for members and leaders and guests. 26 will be announcing some John, John Valjean award winners at that event. So make your applications now. And if you have a good cause, we're going to support you and support it. And then the last thing is health. Um, we're a healthcare company. We're focused on health. You're not going to see us introduce um, candles, soaps, dishes, you know, we're a healthcare company. We're going to have clinically validated products that you can count on that you know works. And here today, I'm going to announce our next product. I don't think I've told anybody this, have I, Jason? Have we told, do I have permission, Jason? Do I have permission to announce our next product? Uh, they don't really want to hear it. I don't think they are. Got this in you. Theodore Roosevelt was a young man. He was in the Albany, he was in Albany in the state legislature in his 20s. And he got a phone call one day. He says, You need to come back to New York City, and we've got some bad things happening. So he got on a train and he rushed to his home in New York City. He gets into his home, and his wife was in childbirth. He gets home, and that night, his wife and his mother passed away the very same day. He had this little baby and he lost his wife and his mother. In his journal, he wrote, the light has gone out of my life. And that was, all, that was it. And that man, and also, as he, in his youth, he, was, he had asthma. And his father would take him as a young man out for carriage rides in the cold air so he could just breathe. And his father says, you know, Teddy, God did not give you a strong body, but he gave you a strong mind. And he said, it is your challenge in life to overcome your weak body and to utilize your strong mind and then really become a man. And Teddy Roosevelt worked his heart out to have a strong body and a mind. And so here's a person who is physically challenged, 
And his father died when he was in college. He lost his father. That was a very dramatic event. He lost his father. He had a fight health problem. He lost his wife and his mother on the same night. And look at who he became. Look at who he became. I admire. He inspires me. And I hope that can inspire you because, you know, no matter what the challenges you have in your life, they're all overcomable. It's just do you have the will, do you have the strength of character, do you have the gumption to say, I will, I can, I believe in myself, I believe in the people who believe in me. Because really, at the end of the day, you know the number one most important word in life is? Belief. Belief. Belief in God, belief in yourself. Do you believe in yourself? So the question I ask you who are guests here today, in any moment of decision, the best thing that you can do is the right thing. The next best thing you can do is the wrong thing. The worst thing that you can do is nothing. Okay? So those of you who are guests today, you came here with a reason, and I don't know the reason. Did you want to learn more about MMF? Did you want to learn more about an opportunity? You're faced with a decision and a choice. The decision is, is it the right thing to join them and engage? I can't answer that for you. I know it was the right thing for me to change my life to focus on engagement. You have to answer that for yourself. If you make the choice to join Engage today, the worst thing that could be happening is in a month or three months or six months, you say it was the wrong thing. You made a mistake. Okay? But that's still a good thing because you only made a choice to try to change your life and do something. What I can tell you is we're the right company. If you make that choice, we'll do everything we can to help you succeed, just like we are here today and we will in the future. And now it's up to you whether you make it a financially right thing. I know the product's the right thing for you. But what I can tell you today, I think it's a mistake if you do not know. So. Yes, I challenge you to make a decision. I hope you join our family. I hope I join your team. You join our team. Everybody who's a member here today, I thank you for coming today. I thank you for giving us a good time and your energy and efforts. I look forward to creating a world-class company, changing people's lives, both financially and with a product of products that are amazing. And I thank you for believing and trusting in us to take that very serious and personal. We will continue every day to try to fulfill on that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to break for lunch. Anyone who wants to join can buy a product. And then after lunch, we're going to come back. What time are we going to come back? Uh, we're coming back at 2 o'clock. And we're going to do an hour and a half of training for all of you who are members to help you do better. Yeah, and get Noah and um, Kelly your questionnaire. So we'll give you raffle tickets. And we're going to have some fun. Thank you. God bless you. I look forward to seeing you.